Hey everybody, welcome back to Letterman Row. I am Austin Ward, joined by our uh, Letterman Row poll czar, Spencer Holbrook. Uh, it's our first, it's a preseason poll watch. Hey, we get a schedule one day and a coach's poll the next. It's almost uh, like a bit of normalcy ahead of uh, this season. And Spencer, uh, you always keep your eye on the polls for us. Uh, what about this preseason one caught your eye? Well, when you look at it, there it's conference only for the entire country. So these polls, I think, are going to – the poll in the preseason is going to show a lot of what's going to happen through the season. I mean, I don't think there's going to be near as much movement in this year's poll. Even if a team loses, you know, they've like if Georgia loses one week, well, they added an SEC opponent, so they've got another chance to, to face probably another ranked opponent the next week. You know, I just don't – I don't see a lot of movement in the poll. I think it's interesting that Penn State's all the way down at seven. I thought they'd be at least ahead of LSU. But, you know, you get Clemson, Ohio State, Alabama, Georgia at the top. It's pretty – uh pretty cut and dry at this point but you know maybe it's the wackiest season we've ever seen and the polls go crazy but I just don't see a lot of movement um when you go conference only well it's going to be wacky uh, maybe maybe the results won't bear that out and the better teams will keep winning but it's still going to be strange no matter what uh you know for Ohio State uh they check in at number two they had 17 first place votes um I think we've talked about on a number of other shows that we, what we think the potential is for this team but that's probably about right to check in behind Clemson, uh, at least in the eyes of these coaches voters. What did you think of, of the way the top played out for the Buckeyes? Well, I think all of the polls that are going to be released, whether it's uh, the coaches poll, the media poll, you get like the sporting news poll, the, the Phil Steele poll, they're going to have Ohio State, Clemson, Alabama, no matter what, at the top three. And I think it, you can justify any three of them at any three of the positions. I know a couple of them have Ohio State at number one. I think they're right where they need to be at number two. You know, Clemson has so much coming back. And when you saw them on the field last, they beat Ohio State. And a lot of people don't think that was like a legitimate win, but it happened. So Where did the SEC Ohio State officials come in in this poll? Uh, number 3.5, right between Alabama <laughs> and Georgia. But, you know, I think Ohio State's right where it needs to be. And uh, it set itself up for success without even doing anything in this poll. Yeah, it does tend to be – easier to take on that underdog mentality yet. Yeah, number two, you got 128 other teams that would kill to be there, but uh, Ohio State, especially when they look up at that one team ahead of them, they will no doubt uh, take note and be motivated by that. You referenced, uh, Spencer, where Penn State comes in and, and looking at the rest of the Big Ten now. Uh, I think it, it was surprising to me as well that Penn State did not come in ahead of LSU. There's probably a few too many voters who don't recognize just – how extensive the losses on that LSU roster are. But Penn State is going to be a legitimate challenger uh, to the Buckeyes. They did find out today that uh, there will be no fans, no whiteout for that huge game uh, in November if it goes off as scheduled then. But the rest of the Big Ten, uh, fairly represented or not for you? Uh, six teams. I would say that's pretty fair. I mean, a lot of the – you know, Minnesota – is losing a lot just because, you know, when Rashad Bateman's not on the field anymore, I know this poll was probably taken before that, but I think if you take it again, they're probably even lower. Iowa at number 23. I mean, do you ever see Iowa any spot other than like 20 through 25 ever? So, I mean, it just makes sense. Michigan at 15 is, I think, a little high. I think Michigan should be in the 20 range just because you don't know who the quarterback's going to be. You don't know how they're going to do replacing the wide receiver talent that they lost. So, and you don't really know how the offense is going to look. So, I think it's fairly represented with six teams, but I think you could move these, these teams around and put them in different spots in the poll. Um, but that's why I'm not a coach, and these coaches know what they're talking about. <laughs> also have uh, Wisconsin there, I think, at number 12. Uh, that's probably pretty fair. They've got a manageable schedule, so whenever that Big Ten championship game feels like we're destined to see Ohio State and Wisconsin go at it one more time, that will almost surely be a top-10 matchup in Indianapolis or wherever it happens to be, as it was revealed today as well, that it's possible that the venue could change if the date has to change. So when you called it a wacky season, these are the kind of wacky details that we have no idea how it's going to play out. It's just August. Um, but this is a starting point uh, in the polls and the coaches voted. And we know where everybody has to work with from here. So all year long, as long as we have these, we're going to let Spencer become our official Letterman Roll polls are. We're just going to add that to his title and some new responsibilities. He's done a great job uh, making sure to get those up on our website every Sunday, uh, typically when those are released. So follow Spencer uh, all year for the poll stuff and follow Letterman Roll for everything Ohio State football 
Uh, for Spencer, I'm Austin Ward. We'll see you next time.